Today I'll be showing you guys how to do this spider and spider web nail design. You can either do just the spider without the webs or add the webs for a spookier look. As always, I used a base coat on all my fingers and then I painted all my fingers black except for my ring finger, which I painted with a white polish. When you got that spider bite on your hand. Then I'm just using this liquid latex to kind of make it so it's not so messy. Um, if you don't have this, you can skip this step. Make sure you get it behind your finger as well. And then you can get distilled water or bottled water that's at room temperature and pour it into a plastic Dixie cup. And I like to drip about six or seven drops, maybe eight of polish into the cup. And then quickly after that, I get this spritz hairspray and spray a couple sprays on the top of the cup until I get the look that I want. And then once my creeper hand's out of the way, I dunk the one finger that I'm doing in there. And then before you pull it out, you need to clean up all the polish so it doesn't get a second overlay. And I kind of blew on it so that it would dry faster. And now you can take off your uh, latex barrier if you've used that. And then do any cleanup that needs to be done with acetone and a cleanup brush. And now for the spider, if you just want to do the spider by itself and not the webs. Um, I found it easier to use this number one What's Up Nails um, brush and it worked very well. And I actually practiced the spider on a plate a few times just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted so I didn't have to do it again on my nail. But I started out just painting four short legs off the side and then I did an angle off of each leg for the rest of the legs. Cause if it destroyed you It would destroy me When you fell in love it was so sweet And now I'm just gonna add the web that comes down from the spider and it just goes straight up. Completely swept off your feet. Then finish with your favorite top coat. This time I used HK Girl by Glisten Glow. Thanks, I hope you like this tutorial.